In this video, let us solve a problem based on a graph of quadratic polynomial. So we've got a problem here which says draw the graph of a polynomial f of x that is function of x equals x square minus 2x minus 8. So we can clearly see that this is a quadratic polynomial and the shape is going to be u. So we definitely need some points. So let us draw the solution table. So we've got x and we've got y. So when we plug in negative 3 in this equation, we're going to get 7. So you need to put like minus 3 in the place of x and you need to see what you get. So we get 7. Then when you plug in minus 2, you'll get 0. Then when you plug in minus 1, you get minus 5. Then when you put 0 place of x, you get negative 8. And then when you put 1 in the place of x, you get negative 9. When you put 2 in the place of x, you get negative 8. When you put 3 in the place of x, we get negative 5. When we put 4 in the place of x, we get 0. And when you put 5, we get 7. Now, before I continue to solve the problem, I'd like to tell you one thing. The number of the more the number of points, the the more distinct is the curve that you're going to get. The more clear the curve you're going to get. Because the more lesser the number of points you put, you may not get a proper curve. So that's why it's important to have more number of points. And as far as the values I've uh, put in the place of x, it just depends on the space you have. Since I've got a limited space here, I've tried to keep max to negative 9. So that's 9 on each side of the graph is what I need. So if you've got a bigger one, you can just go ahead and put whatever you want. And you'll get bigger numbers and you should be able to solve them. That's all. So now that we've, we've got the solutions, we just have to plot these points. This is one set. This is a point. This is a point. This is a point and so on. You just have to plot it on the graph. So let's see. We've got the y-axis and then we've got the x-axis we've got the origin here so this is going to be x dash o x and this is going to be y o y dash let's we need nine right so since it's just an illustration it doesn't matter for me but please you use a ruler and all those things all right so now let us write the points so now it's time to plot the graph First point is negative 3 and 7. So we've got a negative 3 on the x axis and then we've got a 7 on the y. So somewhere here. And we want a negative 2 and a 0. Negative 2 and a 0 is going to be right here itself because the y is 0. And we've got a negative 1 and a negative 5. So negative 1 on the x and negative 5 on the y. So it'll be here. Then we've got a 0 and a minus 8. 0 on the x and minus 8 on the y. So it's exactly here. Then 1 on the x and negative 9 on the y. 1 on the x and negative 9 on the y. It's exactly at this point. Coincides with the numbers. So please to take note of it. And next is 2 on the x and negative 8 on the y. So 2 on the x and negative 8 on the y. It's going to be somewhere here. And next is 3 on the x and negative 5 on the y. So 3 on the x, negative 5 on the y is going to be somewhere here. You can already see the u that we are getting if you notice it. 4 on the x and 0 on the y. So 4 on the x, 0 on the y. And 5 on the x, 7 on the y is finally here. So now if we join this, we are going to get almost a u, I guess. So yeah, of course, the smoother curve is going to get a smooth U, but this is what it is. This is a graph that you're going to get if you plot it based on a quadratic polynomial. So this is what it is. So any kind of a quadratic polynomial, all that you have to do is you just have to find the solution. Of course, get some points to get a good curve. You know, minimum of, say, I'd say 7, 8, something like that. And then plot it, and then you should get a good U. It should be either upright or inverted, doesn't matter as long as it is you, it is a quadratic polynomial or a quadratic graph. So this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problem based on a graph of cubic polynomial.